let's get down to it. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. I used to watch this. Well, used to. I would if I was home. But I would watch the stream uh, from uh, all the way from Toronto. So that's where I came down from. Um, so, um, man, the first comment I'd have to make is uh, probably the first performance mistake to be made tonight is to have me here. <laughs> because uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. That's all I can say. Uh, but yeah, um, I got here uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, I knew I wanted to attend. And does this work? And the other thing I wanted to say that the McDonald's fries here are absolutely rubbish. <laughs> They're so much better at home. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I was looking for Wi-Fi because I didn't want to use up any data, obviously. And I went to McDonald's and I had the fries. I'm like, oh, man, I'm using some free Wi-Fi. Let me just buy some fries. Garbage. Anyhow, um, I just wanted to mention that if you're ever in America, you're gonna, it's, the fries will blow your mind. Um, so yes, my name's Henri. My handle is Henri Helvetica. A lot of people always ask me, is that your real last name? No, it's not. I just thought it'd be an interesting handle. Um, you know, it's the internet. Don't believe everything that you see on the internet because it's not all true. Uh, anyways, getting back to that. Um, it's still in beta, but I started this site. Uh, I want to just kind of talk about stuff that I saw the, on um, on performance online, and eventually, you know, some of my own writings, and whatnot. But if anyone out there ever wants to contribute to the site, has something that they want to talk about, and they have no outlet, give me a shout. I'd be more than happy to accommodate that. Um, and like I said, it's very vanilla right now, no styling, but I've put up some stuff left and right. Um, so. I like to, um, I try to go to as many conferences as I can. I like to listen to talks. I like to watch videos online. I like to listen to developers talk about um, what is bothering them. And uh, this one time I was listening to uh, Kyle Simpson. A show of hands if you know who he is, JavaScript engineer, um, great guy, very smart. And one day he was asked basically uh, what was the biggest issue that he felt was happening, uh, taking place online. And uh, this was his answer, and this was totally unprovoked. The web is primarily being built by a group of people that take for granted things like a limited and free bandwidth. And that totally resonated with me because here's someone who was basically had, at a high-level conference just you know, talking about JS this and that. And when he was asked about the biggest problem, this is what he said. And I thought to myself, like, man, that's, that's pretty cool for Kyle to say that. Another quote that I really love is um, this one right here. I think right now it's a cultural thing primarily. And he did mention cultural. And the gentleman who said that is actually in the room today. Uh, whoa, uh, a gentleman by the name of Tim Cadillac, who's uh, at the back enjoying a good brew. How you doing? Uh, of SNCC, uh, developer relations. But this is something that really stuck with me because I've always felt that the conversation always had to be around culture. If we are not dealing with performance on a cultural level, uh, whereas you think about it constantly, it's never going to be uh, a winning battle. And I compare this to the ideas of once upon a time, maybe you may have changed your diet because you knew that, you know what, if I don't eat well, I'm not going to live long. And the dieting, be, you know, watching your diet became cultural. Uh, I, at least I know I do. I go to McDonald's, of course. <laughs> And I might be like, oh, you know what? I'm not trying to have that Big Mac because X, Y, and Z. Or I'm not going to have an extra large fry because they suck here. Uh, but, uh, but this is something that really stuck with me. And this is, that's essentially going to be the theme of the, uh, the talk. But we're going to talk about bandwidth hawks uh, because we know one of the biggest problems online is Mr. GIF, Mr. JPEG. Mr. PNG, Ping, obviously Mr. JavaScript, and God, Mr. someone else, I'm sure, who's around. Um, but it really starts over here. We have people like Steve Sasson, who this is, by the way, the first uh, digital camera. This was uh, somewhere around 1977, I believe. Um, it went from something like this to something like that. And now photography is somewhere around here. And we know that's the iPhone 7, very powerful camera. Um, and God, I can get into the specs. But this is pretty much where we're at now. I mean, everywhere you go, you see people taking pictures all the time. This is part of what they do. This is cultural now. You know, hey, 
were, were uh, in London. You know, you walk around Oxford Circus, uh, Oxford Circus, yeah? And uh, it's like pictures left and right, and you know, the Christmas trees are up, and selfies left and right. But this is essentially what we're dealing with right now. We love pictures, they tell the perfect story, always. Um, and you know, I can bore you with some stats, but let's go through a few. Facebook, 105% more comments on posts with pictures than without. Um, who's on Instagram here? <coughs> all right, there we go. We guys recognize this, MCM, WCW. These are all hashtags associated with photos and events in our lives or your friends' lives or whatever. But you're all sharing some of this information. We love to share. Instagram, once again, 85, 80 million photos uploaded daily. We love photos. We love taking photos. We love sharing these photos. We love sharing these moments. Iphonography, something obviously that started with the iPhone coming out, but the iPhone became such a powerful device that this became another cultural event where people just walked around taking photos and processing everything on their device and posting them later once again to share. And if you ever Google that, uh, not Google, this is on Instagram actually, if you look up iPhonography, you'll see right here, this is from a few months ago, but you have 80 million posts all just around one process, which is just taking photos. Um, anyone's ever heard of photo walks? Oh, surprisingly. Anyhow, photo walks, this is, again, an event where people get together and nowadays, you know, with DSLRs, and they walk around, the they take the same path and they all take photos together groups of 10, 15, 20, sometimes a lot bigger. And then they go home, process these photos, and share them online. And I'll guarantee you they're not being optimized. This is um, a gentleman by the name of Sweatpants Steve. Um, he's sort of one of the leaders in this movement. But this was him, I believe, in Toronto at one point. And you'll see all around people are taking photos, all from different angles, all big DSLRs. Um, this is actually in uh, Pakistan, the same thing happening. So to let you know, this is a worldwide um, cultural event. Now, um, as I was looking for Wi-Fi, because I wasn't about to use my data here, um, I was at the Apple Store on Regent Street yes yesterday, and I had noticed that one of their, their, their big wall, which um, advertises all the events, they actually have a photo walk happening sometime this week. And I was actually very shocked because I'd known the photo walk to be such a sort of like um, uh, kind of, you know, event just amongst, kind of like a meetup, you know, it's just people getting together and taking shots together. But now that Apple was kind of involved in this process, I'm thinking to myself, oh, wow, like Apple's really getting behind this idea that you need to go out and shoot and share. So this is, um, they have one coming up in a few days. And again, that was really important to me because they also have a workshop happening right now with a sort of like the celebrity DJ, but who's also uh, sort of like a cultural curator and um, she takes photos and that, oh, so that's the, the photo walk. Oh, by the way, it's sold out. The event is full, just to let you know what kind of interest is involved here. Um, so this is happening right now at Apple Regent and she's uh, basically going to talk to some of the attendees about her process, I mean, how she goes about and, 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 and takes some of these photos and posts them. So me, I'm like, oh, let me go to her site, see what's going on. So this Hannah Faith, photographer, music, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I need to know what's going on because I live in the console, in the network panel. And I'm thinking like, ah, whatever, I've seen worse, five megs on the first load, cool, that ain't no big deal, fine. But I grabbed a bunch of her photos to see what was going on, and I was able to um, optimize down to about eh, just over about 50%. Uh, optimization was uh, capable with, um, with image opt-in, by the way. Where, there, there we go. <laughs> you recognize that, of course. So, but just to let you know, this is not happening. We are not optimizing any of these photos right now. And she's giving a lecture, by the way. Um, here's the best part. I went and looked at it on mobile and it was actually heavier on mobile. Hello, media queries, bad news. Anyhow, um, this is again 
around the idea that we're just shooting all the time and throwing stuff online and not really caring about the result. And especially me right now, because I'm coming in from overseas, and if I'm hitting this site, I'm about to lose it. Because 10 megs in pounds, not going to be nice. So I met with Justin Avery today. Um, we had a uh, quick breakfast, really, just coffee. And he was actually going to send me a link to the address, but he pulled it back because he saw that the link was 10 and a half megs. Lovely pictures and chairs and tables, though. Awesome. So if you ever, well, you guys are all from here, so it doesn't matter. So I was going to say, if you're ever going here, just be careful. Don't hit their site. <laughs> but ultimately, again, I'm getting back to the idea that taking shots now and throwing them, in online, uh, throwing them online is no big deal. It's part of what we do. Unfortunately, the result is what is the big deal, and it's not good news. Um, and speaking of bad news, someone might recognize this tweet. Uh, this is Andy Davies from a few weeks ago, and saying even on an enterprise level, images still an issue. You know, Black Friday, where they're supposed to make all these sales, and imagine, you know, you have, uh, you know, large, heavy sites keeping you from checking out things that you want to make sure you uh, take a look at. So, ultimately, I'm not really here to teach you guys anything, but if anything, I think we could all be teachers in a sense that uh, we're all performance fans and we should be out there sort of like, I don't want to say policing these streets, kind of, but we should be out there sort of like promoting the idea of more responsible um, development, ultimately. Um, and that's it. And I believe that was a lightning talk. Merci.